Hey golf fans and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be showcasing which I believe is the best par 3 course in PGA Tour 2K23 and it is Horseshoe Bend Par 3 designed by the very talented Dr. Golf Design. Now to my knowledge this course did win um, Victor Lane's Par 3 contest. So let's take a look at the course details. It is a par 54, fairways are normal, the greens are normal, the green speeds are fast, the weather is overcast and the time of day is noon. There are two tee options, we will be swinging from the white tees which are playing 3089 yards and as always pin set number one. Now thank you so much for the continued support on the channel, if you are new here please make sure to smash the subscribe button and if you are enjoying the content please leave a like so hole one it is a long par three playing 198 yards we do have 18 opportunities here for a hole in one i have been so close recently i think on the game itself i've got over 40 50 holes and ones i could be wrong but it's close to that number since coming back to the game after ea sports pga tour I can't recall having one ace, but the green speeds are 161, that was a good opening tee shot. This is going to leak from right to left, it should turn, it does turn and that is a good opening birdie. We are one under through one, but Dr. Golf Design, he is a designer who is no stranger to the channel. He has designed some of the best courses in the game and I'm going to put my neck on the line by saying this probably is the best par 3 course that I've played personally if anyone knows of a better par 3 course or one that can rival it please let me know in the comment section so it's back to back birdies we are 2 under through 2 hole number 3 this is a long par 3 and I'm really in between clubs here let's go 5 wood I'm going to fully deal off this just try and carry the bunker on the right hand side here and hopefully find the lower part of the green. It's a good strike. Why is that ball leaking so far left? That is going to be trouble. It is trouble. Let's see if we can get up and down for the par save here. Not the worst that lies out of this green side bunker. It should run out a little bit. And that's going to be a test and putt for par. 15 footer. I would have liked that splash shot within 6 feet. But that looks good. It is good. Scrambled well there for the par. And it keeps me at minus 2. But like I said, I think this course, I'm certain it did one. A par 3 design contest which was hosted by Victory LN Sports. I think that was last year. I think it was 2023. I have checked out a few par 3 courses recently. And this one is definitely the pick of the bunch that I've played. That should come back a little bit. I love the variation in this golf course. It offers a good challenge as well. And the views are simply stunning. It's another birdie. Three under through four. And we step onto the fifth tee. Short par three. Let's pitch this. I normally play a little fast on my pitch shot. So just taking that into consideration. There it is there. Tiny fast. Wind's going to hit it hard. It should sit down instantly. And that is a good pitch. And it's going to leave me nothing more. Then I tap in birdie. Fourth birdie off the round. And look at that lake. Absolutely incredible. 11 mile per hour wind in my face here. Beauty of a swing there. It's a really good strike. Striking the ball really, really well. That should kick out down the slight slope. Come on, get down. It didn't. I think it's going to be a downhill putt. This one is going to slide from right to left. Just going to feather this down there. Needs to hold its line. Missed that on the left-hand side. 
That's a disappointing birdie putt, but it has left me a straightforward uphill putt for the par that we do convert. And we move on to hole number seven. It's a mid-range par three, 157, slightly elevated green. It's a lovely strike. The wind's hit that a little bit more than I allowed. And it's going to be a pin-high putt. 17-footer, slightly uphill, breaking from right to left. It should keep turning. It should keep turning. It does keep turning, and that is a good putt. It's our fifth birdie, and hole number eight, it's another long par three, but I'm going to go with a three iron here, full deal off, full top spin, and try and run it up that slope to the top tier of the green. It's a decent strike, does it have the legs? No, I think this is going to slide off to the left by the looks of it, might not even hold the green. It hasn't. Tough pin, you really need a certain yardage to access that top tier. Let's try and chip this one in. It's got the legs, it's never on line. And it's going to be another comfortable part. This is my second time playing this course. I can't recall if I covered it when it first came out. But like I say, we have covered a few Dr. Golf Design courses on the channel. I don't think he's got a huge course portfolio. I'm going to guess about six or seven courses, but they are all top quality courses. He is a designer who takes pride in his work, and every course he has released has been top drawer. This is a very makeable part. I'll be disappointed if we don't drop this. I do drop it right on the edge. And that is a solid front nine, six under through nine. Want to be on the left-hand side of this pin here. I'm in between clubs. Deal often. The five iron here. It's a solid strike. Should kick right, hopefully up this slope. Needs to go, though. I don't think it's got there. It's going to come back a little bit yet. And that is going to leave me. A tricky uphill putt. 25 footer. Certainly is a golf course that rewards good iron shots into the greens. My putt is on point here. Great start to the back nine. Seventh birdie off the round. And let's skip that replay. It was a fairly straight putt. Not a lot of movement in it. Wasn't worth watching it again. But it's such an enjoyable course to play. And for yourself, you are seeing the variation on each and every single hole. No hole plays the same. Had to overpower that one. We managed to get 104%. It should start to come off this subtle slope and down towards the pin. That's going to be a nasty downhill putt, though. Yeah. 35 feet, down one foot. Just in between clubs here on quite a few of these holes. Try to four shots and create something. Just feather that down. It should start to turn back towards the hole. Have we hit it? Just left it short. It was actually a really good read. It's another short par three. Certainly not pitching it, but I've got the ideal yardage here with the gap wedge. Just applying a little bit of D loft. I'm going to surf this five mile per hour wind. It's a tiny slope. And with that, the wind isn't going to bring that back. But the yardage was absolutely perfect. We've not gotten close to a hole in one yet. There is a few helping slopes on some of the holes that will help your ball tease the cup if you get on a good line. But look at this for views. Absolutely glorious. 
It really is a remarkable par three. He couldn't have hit this any better. This could be a hole-in-one chance here. Surely it kicks right. It has done. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Probably the closest we've been to a hole-in-one. We are playing some solid golf here. Really good ball striking. Nine birdies. One four four, just in between clubs here yet again. Just gonna apply a good bit of deal off here. Try and overpower this one. Hundred and three percent power, but with that tiny fast and slight pull, the ball just stayed left. Yardage was good. I would definitely say that the greens are a more test, pattern wise, on the back nine. This does have a chance to keep turning. Just zooms by the left-hand side. I've really overhit that, by the way. Work to do here for the par. Good solid par. Good putt. Played that with confidence. And wow. Look at this for a hole. I'm going to have to try and fade this a little bit. Just to take a little bit of yardage off this for the iron. It's a good strike. Yet again, that tiny fast just in shooting. The shot shape and doesn't really kick in. And it's going to be another test in putt. Tough pin location there. Tucked right over on the right hand side of the green. That needs to keep turning. Good weight. Very good weight. Just didn't have the read. And it's going to be another straightforward par that I do convert. All right, nine under is your score. Yeah, so, hole number 16. Let's see if we can pick up another couple of birdies here. I'm going to play a big draw shot here against this 10 mile per hour diagonal wind. Nice it's a perfect draw has not kicked in at all, sadly. Why? Quite surprised at that. Really expected that draw to kick in a little bit more than what it did. It's a very makeable putt though from 21 feet. Is it going to be my 10th birdie of the round? No, it's not. We've left quite a few putts out there, sadly. Hole 17, 150 feet of yards, 8 mile per hour wind. Very good yardage here. Let's play the wind. It's a good strike. Has it got the legs to kick up and to the right? There's that kick. It's another really good approach shot. Our iron play on some holes has been exquisite. It is the 10th birdie. Let's see if we can finish at 11 under. What a fantastic closing hole. Green is below us by 10 yards. 7 mile per hour wind. Oh, look at that pool in the swing line. It's taking the ball left and long. That's a disappointing tee shot, that, on the final tee box. Now, let's see if we can close this out with a birdie. But let me know, guys, if you know of any courses that I've not yet played that are better or as good as this course, Horseshoe Bend Par 3. But that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button, it's free. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.